So today I'm actually going to be doing a Project Life process spread and it is going to be the week week 25 which is June 21st to June 27th and I'm using Ali Edwards uh, travel collection so I probably should just take you to my desk because there's a lot of stuff to unpack in the travel collection I'm not going to unpack everything and probably I won't show you everything that's in the kit but um, that is what I'm wanting to use today as I'm working on this and the reason why I chose this primarily Hey, it's good to see you guys. Um, thank you for telling me where you guys are from. Um, the reason why I'm using this kit particularly is because I've got a lot of travel from that week. Like we were out of town and I felt like the kit really worked uh, for the photos. So that's why. Um, welcome everybody. <laughs> Maybe we should like start over now that people have hopped in. Um, I'm so happy to have you guys here. Thank you so much for joining me. And um, yeah, I was just explaining that I'm gonna be using Ali Edwards Travel Kit. So I'm gonna hop over to my desk and if you have any questions, throw them in there. Here's the thing about crafting and doing a live that I was a little nervous about. Sometimes I can have a thought that trails off into space because I'm working on something. So hopefully that won't happen today. Um, and hopefully, you know, I can keep, keep it rolling while I'm working. I guess that's the only thing that I was concerned about. Cause sometimes when I get into a project, I'm so focused on the project that it's hard to remember. Oh yeah, there's comments from people, you know? So anyway, um, I'm just going to, let's just hop over to my desk. Thank you for saying yes. Okay, it was muted and I'm so sorry. <laughs> I had muted my desk earlier and I didn't realize it was gonna change back to that. So thank you for letting me know. My gosh, that would have been really bad. Okay, so on my desk, I've just got my Project Life stuff. I've got my photos and you'll definitely be seeing those as I um, go on. Hopefully the sound is working. Um, Janine, it looks like I was muted and now I'm not muted. And please let me know if the sound is okay now that it is it back on because i'm showing that it's back on um hopefully there's not a lag maybe there's a little bit of a lag okay so this kit came with some really really fun stamp sets so we've got this large i'm just going to move this out of the way this large stamp set which i'm really thinking that I want to use because we went from Utah to Colorado so I'm thinking I might want to do something there then this one also I'm thinking I might use to make some of my own cards with some of my journaling cards and that's the one thing that I am going to say about doing this live the project the process video is I'm not going to do any of my journaling because journaling I have to think too much and it would be silent and so I'm not going to do any of the journaling. So I will just prep everything and then I will do journaling later. And then you can see, you know, my journaling in the photos. So here are the other sets. Um, I really like these. This is one that's really good for road trip. All of these seem to be really good for road trip in that kind of, there's a lot of camping stuff. Um, there's arrive, hotel, return. I really like that the, this is the same font so you could use them together. And then there are these. I was actually thinking this could be really cool to stamp a color and then stamp this on top of it, maybe in white. I don't think that that's something that I'll do today, but I think that that's a really great option. And I'm just going to quickly throw this down. Hopefully you guys have seen this from Allie, if you are familiar with Allie. 
there's just a lot of good stuff in this kit. I just don't want to take a lot of time talking about it because I know we can go through it. Um, I'm obsessed with the giant, I'm obsessed with this giant uh, stamp too. Is it Sherry? Um, sorry, you're like kind of far away. It's hard for me to see. It, it's really good. It's really good. I love it. Um, Studio Calico has, I bought a smaller one. I don't know if it was from Studio Calico. I think it was, but I've used the smaller one before for um, like elections. So I think this will work on a card because I don't need the entire thing, just a little bit of it. You'll see the cards. I'll go through the cards. These are some really cool um, leather tags. I thought these were really cool. I'm so far away. I'm, I apologize. They're like um, burnt into the leather and I think it looks really cool. Um, and then I really love this wood. So you guys, at the end of this video, I'm gonna be doing a, a giveaway. And the giveaway I'm doing, I think is the road trip bundle. I'm gonna have to look at what's in there. There might be some extra stuff, but I'm gonna give away one of the packs. And then we've got some cards, some of these heart pockets. Um, Tracy, what did you mean you hope she brings it back? What do you hope she brings back? There's some of these, um, what you call these? I wanted to say tags, not tags. There's a badge here and then some circles, which I was actually thinking would be really cute like that, like combined. And then we've got some word phrases, which I always really love. And that has something that I don't need in it. And then we've got the stars and then we've got these giant words, which I probably won't use the giant words in this, probably because they're just not fitting. Um, yes, hopefully they started order, they've started shipping, Michelle. I haven't checked because I have the stuff, but hopefully, um, they'll start shipping. All right, so let's just hop in. If there's anything that you want to see, like, more of, like a product, let me know. Throw it in the comments, and hopefully I'll see it. Um... And I tried to anticipate maybe all the things I would want to do here. Crap, I just covered all my stuff. Okay. All right, just trying to get that centered. So I have a couple four by six photos, but I think I might actually end up cutting that down just because I want enough room for like a bunch of photos and um, a bunch of journaling because I just feel like there was so much that went on this week. Um, you missed out on the... Oh, so did the stamp set sell out fast? Okay, I was curious. Stamp set seems to be one that they will do like, they will bring back and they'll do like a pre-order. Did, um, did she do a pre-order with those stamps at all? So I'm curious, are, do all of you guys do Project Life? And if so, how do you guys start off? Do you start off with photos? The Like I love putting photos down as my foundation and then I kind of work from there. Just curious if you guys like to do the same. Yes, Claire, they're gonna be on Sunday. That's awesome. Well, probably not Sunday. Is it gonna ship on Sunday on the holiday? Although maybe you're not even in the United States. I don't know. It's a holiday on the 4th in the U.S. Um, okay, so I'm going to try and put all of my... Oh, I want to cut this down a little bit more. Probably all of my photos from the um, trip. I, I want to say weekend, but we were there from... My family was there from Monday to Thursday, and... I left on Tuesday because my youngest daughter was really, really sick and I didn't want to leave her because I just didn't know what was going on with her. Turns out I think it was food poisoning, so we got on the road on Tuesday. So it was basically this awesome trip to Colorado. We went to Ure, Telluride, um, Durango. So beautiful there. I had no idea that it was so beautiful there. Yes. Awesome, Melissa. Starting with photos is so, so fun. It's just the way to go, right? 
Um, okay, let's see. And I think I know I want to cut this down. What am I doing? I'm not paying attention. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if they actually deliver on Sunday on the holiday. I'm always so surprised when they deliver on Sunday in general because I'm like, we never got mail on Sunday, so why do we get mail now? I think it's so weird. Um, when you say you've never done the project, Michelle, does that mean you've never done Project Life? Or are you talking about the travel? Just kind of curious about that. Um, okay, yes, I have to say, I wonder, Claire, is it, oh, Sherry, I'm so sorry, I'm seeing the H as an L, um, and the E as an A, so, Sherry, you said you're in California, and I thought things shipped from the East Coast, so I'm really surprised that you'd be getting it so fast, I feel like when I get stuff from Allie, it always takes pretty long, that's just my, my assessment, so let's see, definitely want that on the end, Simone, you do it monthly. Okay, let's talk about monthly. Like I've, I, oh my gosh, I really just love the idea of doing it every, every day, you know, but I do love monthly. I think that that's really great to just throw everything. I don't know. I guess when I think monthly, I think by the week still, you know, just because I don't do like, um, events. I don't know. It's hard for me not to think by the week, to be honest. So I just go by the week. Um, okay. All right, let's see how this goes. All right, I'm going to pull over the cards. <clears throat> and then I know I want something for the title that's going to be, I really do love this, I have to say. Um, I'm, I definitely want some kind of pattern, so maybe that would work. Oh, I like this too. Do you guys, when you guys leave on vacation, do you love coming home? Like, I love coming home. A lot of you guys are doing monthly. Barb got her travel stuff today. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. You know what, it does make it easier to go back and catch up, you're right. I could totally see that. Um, so I like this, but a lot of it is like overseas, and so I probably wouldn't um, use that just because, you know, we were just like six hours away. Okay, so all of these are the exact same, and I think that this would be really great for an album especially like a three by eight album, but I'm not really seeing anything. This is kind of like the idea that I was talking about where you could make your own cards like this to fit like what you were thinking of using this stamp set right here and maybe using some of these just with um, the embossing powder. If you had like white embossing powder, I think those would go really well together. All right, so one thing that I know that I want to do is I want to stamp this out. So maybe I will do that now, and I want to stamp some of these out. So I'm just going to move this stuff out of the way. And I did anticipate that. I had cut up some white paper just in case, um, cut it down just so I don't have to have my big trimmer on the screen. Oh, we've got a weekly from, is it Trickster? Trickster girl, you got a weekly. I just don't know if I can not do weekly. It'll, it, it's going to be interesting. I will have to say, with my daughter, so my youngest is going to be graduating next spring, and I'm, I'm trying to decide like what I will do. I mean, I'm going to do Project Life for sure next year, like on a nine by twelve. But I don't know what I'm going to do the week, the following, like um, the following year. It's possible that I might do, I might do like a smaller, either a six by 12 or a six by eight even, and we'll see how that goes. I just am not sure. Cause I know like telling stories doesn't have anything to do with having kids, but I don't know for whatever reason, I feel like 
when it's just me, I'm like, I feel like I'm like working a lot and I'm not having as many stories to share, but that's just probably something I'm telling myself and um, that probably wouldn't be true. Because there's a lot of, there's a lot of stories you can tell. I mean, I just think even it's really interesting to jot down like your routines, um, you know, morning, afternoon, evening routines and, um, you know, just how things change over time, right? Because things constantly are changing over time. All right, so I decided I want to use my Misty for this because I can't, I can't say that I'm the best stamper. In fact, you guys should probably, I, I just edited a video of a spread that I, that I worked on yesterday. <laughs> so it'll probably come up. Maybe it'll, I'll do it tomorrow, either tomorrow or Saturday. Anyway, it's so bad. You guys, I tried to do like a whole stamping thing. I'm just not a great stamper. I'm no Lara Wansick. Um, okay. So I really like using this because of that. Who has a Misty out there? I think these are amazing tools. You don't necessarily have to have this tool. There's other things you can use. Back in the day, I wonder if I have that. I can show you. Sorry, I'm like turning around. Okay, I do. Did you, any of you guys have a stamp majig? So these actually worked really well with like, especially rubber stamps. And I had a ton of rubber stamps I used to do like, um, wasn't stamping up. It was close to my heart. I wasn't a seller, but I would go to parties and stuff. Um, so you could totally use a stamp and a jig. This would work just as well. Um, I still have that. That's funny. I also remember if you've seen my videos from long ago, I use this a lot too. This really helps you get it in the right place. So I really like that. But today I'm using the Misty. All right. So Sherry, you still do a 12 by 12 weekly. I do love the 12 by 12, you guys. When I see 12 by 12, I just think, oh, so good. So a part of me, there's parts of me that kind of wish I had waited to do the 12 by, or waited to do the nine by 12 until maybe my kids were out of the door. But it's been fun to do a little bit different size. And I do feel like I have a lot more um, vertical photos, or at least I could crop my vertical photos down. Okay, so I'm gonna move this up a little bit. And this is gonna hang off the edge and it's totally fine. I probably could do it like this. Let's do it like this. I'm gonna flip that over. And I just wanna make sure that I'm getting Utah. My goodness. This is what happens when you're live. All right. I'm trying to get this in here so that if it doesn't stamp well, I'll be able to restamp it. But you know what? If I have to redo it, it's just a little piece of white cardstock, right? You have a staff in the jig, Stephanie. That's so awesome. I love that. One thing I'm going to get is a Hold on, piece of paper. I really don't want to get that ink all over this. I know it's fun to see supplies like change over time and then it's like you feel like you invest in one and then it changes and then you're investing in another one and then something new comes out. It's literally like a constant, constant changing. So interesting. And you know what? That did not get really great on the M. And that's going to be okay. Because what have we learned about stamping? It does It's never going to be perfect. It's never going to be perfect. Does anyone, okay, the people that said they still have the stamp and jig, do they still use it? I had the Fistars or the Fiskars stamping press. Yeah, I think that's what that's called that I showed you. I'm just gonna wipe this off a little bit. For some reason this ink is is feeling really sticky. I'm not sure why. It might be just what I'm trying to take it off with. I'm just gonna move that to the side. 
All right. Now let's just keep doing the stamping thing. So I'm going to grab this stamp set. So is this the stamp set? Someone said that they missed the block. Was this the block stamp set that you're talking about? Hello, crafty Eeyore lover. It's good to see you. Well, I can't see you, but it's good to have you here. Um, okay, trying to decide which ones I want. I think I want loving. And this is what's great about this. You could just one day just stamp a whole bunch of stuff and then have it in your stash for when you might use it, you know? And I'm just going to, I don't want to say basic, but I feel kind of basic about it. I'm just going to do black and white. And I just feel like the Misty makes it so much easier. I actually have a large Misty. I have, um, what do you call it? The 12 by 12. And I really like that for when you're doing like scrapbooking. <laughs> you love the full, that's, that's really funny, Stephanie, about the, um, that you didn't love the stamp majig. <laughs> I remember when the photopolymer stamp started coming out and I just wasn't sure how I felt about it. I think Stampin' Up! was the first, I mean, I'm sure other companies did it, but from what I knew, it was like um, Stampin' Up! I think I do want to do a remember. And I'm just eyeballing it. It might not be perfect and that's totally fine. Oh, the filled block ones. Maybe I don't, I don't have those, so I'm not sure I know. I guess I missed out on them too, Ayana. I don't have those either. Uh, okay. So the ink that I'm using, I don't even know if I said that, is Diversifying. This is my favorite black ink, but it does, it is kind of wet. It's, it's a pigment ink, so it stays wet for a minute. And this is not the best wipes to be using, I realize, because it's putting little fibers all over my stamps. So I'm going to have to wash these stamps. Do you guys ever wash your stamps to make them um, stick better? Let's see. Oh, I have it. Okay. I'm so sorry. Um... I didn't realize I did. Good. <laughs> I'm so happy to know that. I'm so sorry that you don't. That's always such a bummer. I know that there are like some companies that you like will guarantee like, you know, do you ever shop at Simon Says Stamp? I feel like, okay, those are out of stock. Maybe they'll, you know, likely they'll bring them back. But yeah, some stuff just never does come back and that is just so sad. So I didn't see how many, I think I'll do five and we'll see if I use all of them. I kind of like the idea of doing best and worst. Maybe memories. I think it'd be cute to do best and worst on the same one. Huh, just think about that. You use Stampin' Up! Mist to clean. You know, I have some, stamp. I'm not Stampin' Up! I have some, I think Hero Arts? If I remember right. Something, someone, I think it's Hero Arts. I have some kind of um, spray to spray and kind of clean it off. Do you guys do a lot of stamping? I'm, I'm curious about that because, oh my gosh, I am literally ruining these cards. You know what? I think I got some ink on this. That is really frustrating. All right, well, I'm not gonna redo it, but I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> you see like 
I made, when you, you can't, it's too bright. I made some like little black marks on it. Oh my gosh. So my desk is underneath this white. This is like a drafting cover. So it's kind of soft. It's good for like drawing, I think. Anyway, underneath it, it's like aluminum or some kind of metal. So anything magnetic sticks on it so much. That's why I was just having the hardest time getting that off. So Tracy, you have this spray. I think the spray is just for cleaning, right? It's not what we're talking about. Yeah, a crafty or lover. Yes, that's awesome that you're getting into stamps. So stamps are a lot of fun. I know, like I watched Lara's class. Did anyone else? I didn't see everything. So it's on this. I didn't see everything because um, it was I was supposed to be like traveling the next day. But she had such good information on the, in that class, and it made me want to stamp more. So that's one of the reasons why I knew I wanted to use the stamps here. Um, and I think I'll do memory. So I definitely have, a, this will be number six. So we'll just do six, and we'll see what I end up using. I have no clue. Um, I guess it really just depends on the stories, right? that I end up telling. Hi, Crafty Jer Carrie. Stamps forever. Yes, Crafty Carrie is awesome at stamping. I will say that, and she's got some really cute stamp designs. Definitely, definitely cute stamp designs. All right, I don't know if that's it for stamping, but it's it for right now. So I'll just close that up. And now I'm a big mess. I am a really messy stamper. I know that for sure. I've already got like ink on the cards. So I'm always getting it on my fingers. I'm also a messy artist. Have any of you guys seen Allie's, her morning pages where she's doing painting? I did an art, I did a, um, what do you call them? An art book where I painted years ago. And just kind of what she's doing, just playing around. I mean, I'm not great at painting at all. And I was a mess. She seems to keep it really clean and I was just such a mess. Okay, so let's pull these over and see will they, where they will fit. I love that you guys are all getting into stamps. It's so fun. I know that there are some new stamps coming up. There's oh, I feel like there's always something new and something exciting. Um, all right, maybe do it like this. I am getting sun. So the sun's going down. Let me just close this. Okay. I'm gonna apologize for the light that's coming in. It's beyond my control. I'll have to remember that. That's so funny because it's like 7.30, you know? It's crazy. I don't know if I can use both of those. Don't you hate it when you're like, I just don't have room for everything, right? All right, so at this point, I'm trying to decide the stories that I wanna tell and I think I will do this here for loving and I'm wanting to separate having too many light things next to one another it's still something that I'm working on there's a lot of people that do that really well where I feel like they could have like the whole thing could be white cards and it still looks so stunning um, crafty Carrie is good at that go see her stuff she's so good at that uh, let's see so the worst, okay. So what ended up happening on this trip? So we we were in these razors and we were going up the side of the mountain. I don't know if you saw my Insta stories. We summited this mountain and and mountain, excuse me, and on the way back, or and then we went to tell you ride, had lunch, on the way back it started raining and hailing, and it was absolutely crazy. 
And this photo is, is a picture of all of us like in our rain gear, just muddy, muddy, muddy. And I was thinking that maybe that would be the worst, but you know what? I don't think it is because that was so fun. It was crazy, but it was also really fun. So um, and maybe there's another story. I could say that we were delayed because Megan and I were delayed, or I could do a best and a worst and add those together. So that's something I could consider doing. Um, this one I think I want here for my daughter. Adventure, maybe up here. Um, memories, I don't know. Maybe we'll do best. I wonder if that would, it doesn't look like ink, so I'm wondering if it will buff out. Kind of looks like from the metal magnet, that's what it looks like. Kind of came off a little bit. Okay. It is odd, and I don't necessarily love that. I wonder, where are the cards? Sorry for that noise. Looking for the cards here. I love this card here with the bikes, but we didn't do any biking, so I don't want to use it. I kind of want to use it, but let's see. I feel that's a little too busy. I could do something like this, but then What do we think? What do we think? I do. I feel like there's kind of a lot of. Maybe I'll do this. Maybe this would be better. I feel like this part for me is all about like creating that balance. And I talked a little bit in that video that I was telling you that I did today. I was editing it today. Um, have you ever tried that eraser? It's kind of like a sander. Oh yes, the one from Tombow. I've almost bought that, um, Carrie, so many times and I just never have. But um, I've seen Jennifer McGuire use it and it looks like it works so well. I'm gonna have to try that. So it obviously is something that you're swearing by too. I'm gonna have to try that. The one reason why I haven't tried that is because I was thinking that, um, it would make like the your paper rough, you know, like you could tell where you sanded it off. Can you tell where you sanded it off? Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, Stephanie, it's so fun that you're here from New Zealand. Okay, so a couple things to think about. I'm trying to decide, do I wanna leave it like, I know that I wanna do um, some kind of like how we drove, right? Because I think that that would be really cute. I'll probably do that in red if I can find a red pen. So sorry about the, the light um, situation. Let's see if I can close that right there. You just don't anticipate that the sun's gonna be out at this time, but we are so close to the the spring equinox, right? All right, Carrie, I'm gonna try that. You said that it works. Hello from Maine. That's so awesome. What you, you asked is that, yes, this is a nine by 12. Yep, this is a nine by 12. Okay, so I really like these and I think I will probably um, use them. Let's see. I don't know how many, let's see. Um, I don't know, kind of like that. So definitely not a staycation. 
probably won't do road trip. Location maybe. Maybe I can do escape. Or adventure. So maybe I'll just do three. I like the colors of this also. I mean, this was one of the reasons why I thought this would be really good for uh, this week is just, you know, because we were kind of doing like the camping thing. I feel like these colors work really well for that. Okay. Maybe the location. I love this thought because we were, this is a sign that has 13,000 uh, feet. That's how tall the mountain was that we went over which is awesome. I think Salt Lake, where I live, is about um, 9,000. 9, so it's not, oh no, I'm sorry. It's 4,500. Wow, that's a big difference, half the size. I'm thinking of this mountain that I live, that I live by is 9,000. Oh my gosh, that's really funny. I don't know what I'm saying, you guys. I'm making up all kinds of stories. Um, Okay, I'm liking the way this is looking so far. I need to do something here. Let's see. Sometimes I feel like I have a hard time with the travel. Uh, what did I say? I didn't mean the travel, I meant the title card. Sometimes I have a hard time figuring out how to get the date on, or yeah, the date on there. Be cute to do like a cute tag or something. That would be cute, actually. Um, what could I make that out of? The reason why I don't want to use this because I want to be able to stamp on it. Maybe one of these. This has a little option for a date. I think that's too small, but. So I'm pretty bummed that these don't, that they're not cut in the back, but I have heard that they are going to change that, that they've gone back to their old manufacturer. Have you guys heard that? I heard that. Um, are you guys talking about a stamp set still available? Okay, I'm thinking about this. I'm kind of bummed. Let me show you one of the things that I, I've done because I have taken off some of the ones that I love from other sets. I just take an X-Acto and go around it. And it just comes off really easy once you do that. And of course, doing something like this is super easy because it's just like a little tag, right? I don't know that you want to do it with all of them, but the ones that are left over that you really love. And that way, because here's the thing, I like to put something down and see how it looks, right? I definitely am that kind of a person. Oh, I love this one. I want to make memories all over the world. That's cute. All right, there's just so much stuff in here. You guys are, oh, I didn't even look at these cards. There might be one that I could use. Oh, this is good. I wonder if I could, I could even make something like this, you know? On one of these cards I could do a, is there a moments? No, just memories. I could do memories, let's see. Where did that card go? Am I using it? Oh, I am. Oh my gosh. You guys, I'm, I've literally lost my mind. But this would be, this would be really good. It's too, I couldn't cut it down because of the way that it is. This is something you could alter digitally though. If you had the digital kit, you could shrink this down, make it a little bit smaller and do a three by four. I do have numbers that I could use. In fact, let me show you. Um, I think I have it somewhere near me. I just did this the other day. This is again inspired by Lara. 
Wansick. So I took a bunch of, forgot which camera I was using. I took a bunch of numbers from the Ali Edwards story sets and um, put them all together because I thought that that was really smart because you are always looking for numbers. So I could do some kind of a numbered list here. I wonder, um, I like the idea of doing memories with a numbered list and I could do adventure down here like this. I'm still missing. That's what I was looking for. I guess I could do something like this. Did any of these stamp sets have quotes? I don't remember that they did. But I could just use one of like one of these. These have quotes too. I love this camera icon. Oh, I really love that. Um, let's see. Someone's order arrived today? Sue, you said your order arrived today? That's crazy. Um, yeah, CJ, it's so awesome. Because it, you can kind of see that it's already a little perforated, a, you know, that you, it, you can just follow right along and it just needs like a little bit. And like I said, they've changed back, but you know, you've changed back, but you st you've like already got six months of products going, you know? Um, I like that. Let's see. Where's my stuff? Right here. I turned it over. Let's see what else I could use. I really love this one though, but it's a different like color green. Hmm. Find me under the stars. What else did you guys really love? Um, I've heard people talk about the stamps. Is there anything that you guys really love that you were like, I have to have that in the kit? Oh yeah, the word stamps are good. They're, you can use these word stamps literally on any, I mean, obviously these are all like different languages, which some of these would be great for me because I'm learning Spanish. But um, you, you know, really these could be used for so many things. I mean, maybe not the airplane the getaway, but the other things would be awesome for sure. Yeah, it's such a good idea with the numbers, Linda. That that is what Laura did. She broke up all of her sets. I think Allie said she was going to do them. Also, I think I remember her saying that from that day. Forgot that there are these not these um, stars here. I could also do a star here instead of the tag. Uh, I don't want to do green. Let's see yellow. It's a pretty yellow. Oh, I like that yellow. I don't know. We'll see. I'll leave it. Let's see. So I will say, um, when I printed out these photos, I don't think I realized, I mean, I, I didn't realize I was going to be doing all this white. I probably would not have made borders along these photos. I probably just would have had solid uh, borders. orange color this color right here I think this is it pulling orange because it's I think it's kind of coral yeah it looks a little coral to me uh, CJ but it is a pretty color I like I like it with the green I think it works really well actually um, all right let's deal with that just trying to decide what um, I have a pen here. Where's my scrap?
trying to decide if that's thick enough. And you know what? I did see stars. Because if I use that, where, where are those stars? I did see stars on here. I could maybe signify, oh, there's hearts too. Like the beginning and the end. The beginning where we started, where we ended. I probably, if I was doing this digitally, I probably would take off the, the Utah, Colorado, just because they're so, I mean, you know what states they are, right? Let me take this off. I'm kind of guessing. I know it's around there somewhere. You know? I don't know. Do I want to do a heart or a star? Oh, that just ripped off. Does that ever happen? The backing ripped off, so I don't have the adhesive. Um, you know what? I don't love that. I do have some stars here, I think. This pack, I don't even know where I got this pack. One of Allie's kits from a long time ago, but it has some small stars. Yep, if I remember right, Let's see if those work. And it had some small hearts and then some butterflies. I do not tend to use butterflies very much in my crafting though. Is anyone working on something with me? Um, sorry that I keep forgetting to look. Let's see, the fray stickers, plastic circles, and the wood veneer travel pack are the items that you wanted. That's awesome, Michelle. I think I'm going to like this a little bit better, actually, using these little stars. Yeah, I, don't know. I move things around all the time. But if you've seen any of my videos, because then that would, you totally see that, like, I'm constantly moving stuff around. Just trying to get the right placement. I'm, I'm really going for balance, right? It's that balance that I'm going for. All right, so I'm just gonna stick this down. This glue I really like, and I've had it for ages. It is the Tombow Mono Liquid Glue. I think I learned about this glue from Jennifer McGuire. I don't even know if she uses it anymore, but I still do. I still have a ton left over because you don't need to use a lot. And it sticks down so good. I mean, if I can get some on here. I like these. I think this is one of the embellishments that I'd like to see more of is just a bunch of little hearts, little stars, little shapes that you can like add on to things, you know? I'd really, I think I'd really like that. Like in December daily, I'm, I'm hoping for some little stars. Little star, I mean, I guess she's done that in the past, but like, I don't know, more. Let's just do more, right? Um, the stars, oh, were they only sold in those kits? I am going to be giving away, let me, should I show you the giveaway? It's just sitting right here. This is what I'm going to give away at the end. And I don't even know how to do it, you guys. Maybe I'll just move all the comments and I'll put, like, just put my hand on someone's name. So this is what I'm giving away. It's got the traveler's notebook. And I'm not going to open it up, but I know that there are pages in here. It's not just white. I know that there are, is, are some patterns. These, um, I had these somewhere. Maybe I could open up and show you these ones. You've probably already seen. 
I think these are so cute. I want to do an album that includes these. I think these are adorable. Includes those. This would, see, I could just even use these cards. Like that is a really cute detail. Sorry if I'm not showing it very well. Um, then it's got the word phrase stickers, which I have to remember that and pull those out and I could add those to some of the photos. It's got these wood, the wood, that's got that white detail. Um, it has the badge, that fabric badge. It has the stars. And then it has the chipboard. So stick around. And then you'll be in the drawing. All right, let's see. I just cannot for, like forget to do that. <laughs> I can totally see myself totally forgetting to do that in the end, right? Um, okay, so trying to decide how set I'm feeling on everything because at this point, I think I kind of want to do the journaling, which I told you I'm not going to do the journaling with you guys. I'm um, still thinking about that star. But I kind of like that there are stars here and maybe I could add a star somewhere else. I can add this down, put this down. Just hanging out and watching me craft. I know sometimes it's just nice to like not have to do anything and just sit there and hang out, right? I kind of like that too. Um, that's awesome, Joanne, that you're working on a, um, what do you call it? Vacation album. Where did you go on vacation? What vacation is it? I know the craft packaging is so cute, isn't it? I love it. You know what's even cooler is I saw the other day, um, did you guys see Morgan? The I just spaced her last name on Allie's team. She used this as her album, which I thought that was like genius. So, so cool. So that's an option too. You could make like a really cute album out of it. So many things you could do with that. Let me see if I want to add any of these. Now I'm, this is looking really simple, I know, but I'm, you know me, you guys, I'm pretty simple, right? I kind of want this over here, but then that's too many. I'm just gonna leave it. Maybe I could swap. I wonder what this would look like. I'm wanting to separate those badges, whatever they're called, you guys. Who knows what they're called? Why can't I think of it? Well, thank you guys for just coming and watching and um, being here. I really, really appreciate it. Keep driving. A lot of like road trip under the stars. So yeah, this kit it seems like this kit is really good for like um, kind of like staycations, road trips, camping. Maybe they when they were designing this, what they had in mind is the travel that you did last year because I'm sure so many people did travel near them. A lot of camping, I know a lot of people that went camping. Um, on the go. I can even, you know what you could, I could do? I could turn these over even and stamp on the back, like the dates for the title. That's something I could do also. Um, I don't know that um, I'm really loving any of these right this second.
but like I said, I could um, cut them down and use them for the date. I don't know. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Thank you, Sue. That's so nice to say. this here so I'm going to put it down I like that the box is kind of wonky too all right so the next thing I'm going to do because I can't quite decide about that title page I'm going to put the cards together well I guess I could put these these on I could stick these down that's what I could do I'm going to put the cards together that are in those four by six spots and just use some washi tape to put them down. Do you guys do that also? It just helps it from falling out, I feel like. Man. Oh, there's like a an easier way to take them off in the back, just FYI. If I had looked, these are very sticky. There's like a, a crease back here or a slice. You haven't started C SC Trent. You haven't started your December daily. Is this from last year? I, you guys, I have, um, maybe I should show you. Do I know where it's at right now? Um, just because I, you know, obviously I've moved so many times this year. That's been so much fun. Um, I think I have today 11 done and maybe 13 like almost done. If I remember right. It's obviously been half of a year since I thought about it. But that's something that I want to work on this summer and get finished. Probably want to get done with it by September or, or I don't know. Maybe I'll start in August when school goes back in. But I have all the stories and stuff. I think probably because I keep a journal, right? Let me use this right here. Kind of give me like my halfway point. Not that it has to be exact. It's totally fine if it's not, right? We're not going for perfection. Though sometimes it feels like we are. This one. Linda, you, you've completed 16 days. That's awesome. That you only have like nine days to go if you do to 25. Do you just do to 25? That's awesome. Anyone else still have their um, December daily to work through. <clears throat> I think it's kind of hard to get back into that project when you're not doing it during the season because it's so fun to work on it during Christmas when all the Christmassy stuff is out. But it's also can be an overwhelming time. It just was really hard for me last year because my daughter got married and I was traveling back home to Utah. So it just got really hard where I was like, I'm not going to be able to finish. And I didn't put a lot of pressure on myself. I'm like, it's fine. Like, this is crazy. Anyway, what's going on with the wedding that I just, I gave myself a break is what it was. And that's fine. All right. So I'm just going to combine these together. You know what? These are a different size. Let's try that again. Oh man, I know it. SC, like the 
my craft room needed major, major help after December daily. I feel like it's just such a mess. And then you end up keeping your December daily stuff out because you think you're going to work on the album and then it's just a mess. At least that's what I did in 2019. Partway through 2020, I'm like, I'm not going to finish this. I think I only had two days left, though, from 2019. Did I ever finish that? I can't even remember now. You know, you guys, last year was kind of a blur with that move and everything. Kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. Did, has any, is anyone in here, have you guys moved? Anyone in here moved last year? Um, I have a friend that's selling her house right now. I know several people that are moving. It's hard. It was hard to move and it was hard to move during COVID. That's all I'll say about that. That was almost perfect. I know. I feel like that too. The um, Crafty Ear Lover talked about, um, you know, COVID really kind of taking your mojo. And I definitely feel that same way. Like there, there were some hard parts of it that it was just like hard to kind of get into it, right? And have the desire to tell stories of going nowhere, right? Um, which ones? Tracy, you're moving into a new craft room. Um, did you see my last did you see my latest post? Well, it's not my latest. Was it my latest post? I can't remember. I posted about how I organize all of my like kits, like how I separate my kits, or I guess it's embellishments. I would just call it embellishments. And how I do also the Stories by the Month kit or the monthly themed products. Um, I put them in those four by six plastic containers. Look at my, you could watch my, last live I talked about it in the last live that I did or I showed it um, other organization tips I kind of have adapted what Allie did with her stamps you can kind of see right here can you see this has got stamps in it I've got a bunch of those for stamps tell me what you're wanting to organize and I'll see if I can come up with something I feel like I've watched a lot of organizing videos that doesn't mean I've implemented them all. I do love organizing stuff though. I really do. Have you guys ever watched, um, I'm not, I don't watch TikTok, but I know that they do them a lot on TikTok and I end up seeing it on Instagram, but where people will organize their stuff and you watch them organize it and it like, it's a really quick, I don't know. It's kind of like ASMR, but for organizers. And you get to see this really quick of people organizing stuff like around the house. I love it. Like I'm kind of obsessed with them. Have you guys, do you guys know what I'm talking about? Have you ever seen them? They're so fun. Cause it's so satisfying to me. Um, so, so satisfying. Oh, that's nice that you're moving in with your son. It's really cool. Sorry, I know I'm missing stuff in the chat, but I'm glad that you guys are um, chatting away. On the portable crafting. You just mean crafting where you could move it around your house? 
Um, I missed the earlier comment to that. Okay, SC Trent. I, ooh, that's tough. I really love them both. I love 9x12. The thing that I like about 9x12 is that it's not symmetrical, and the thing that I like about 12x12 is it is. How is that for an answer? I like that the 9x12, yeah, I guess I like that it's not symmetrical. I like that I'm, I do like the vertical shots, even though I like um, horizontal shots more. I do like them, and I'm, and I like, and I end up feeling like I have a lot of those because of my phone. And I do miss the 12 by 12 because I like using more photos. I feel like I use less photos and um, I like using the horizontal photos. I just, I think the 12 by 12 allows me to use more photos and that's what I miss about it. I end up like cutting down a photo or something like that. Um, the nine by 12, I like that there's more three by fours. I like that I'm using more three by fours. I like playing around with that. I feel like I should just use the three by four pages, but then oftentimes I'll, you know, like throwing in a four by six photo. Um, I also like that I feel like because I'm using less photos and I'm getting more other cards in there. I don't know. I like them both for their own thing. I, I If you said that I'd have to choose one forever, I don't know what I would choose. I'm not sure, to be honest. I am not sure. Okay, I'm going to deal with this card. And I'm going to grab over... I wonder... I really like that star, but it's like... I don't know. Let me try stamping on this. All right, I put this aside. This was the 21st to 27th, and I'm actually going to say the 20th because the last page I did, I ended on the 19th because they left on Father's Day, so they left on the 20th, so we're going to include the 20th for this week. So you can see that I am kind of mixing it up a little bit. I don't have to stay you know, within the week. In fact, the, hold on, the 27th, the last video that I just did was two weeks combined because I just really didn't, there just wasn't enough going on. I feel like it was one of those weeks where I just worked a ton. So there wasn't as much going on. Now looking at this, knowing that this is going to be a lot larger and I'm going to see how it looks right now, but I'm thinking that I might want to Where's my small scissors? I'm thinking that I'm, I might want to take off the year because you're obviously going to know what year it is because you could just work, look at the week before, right? So that is a possibility. Oh, but that looks good. I like that. All right. Yeah, I really like the way this looks actually. I'm wondering though, I should probably use this to put it down with. Trying to decide if I want this staple to show or not. 
So if I do, then I should do it higher, and if not, see these are the little details that like I feel like trip me up, right? I could probably staple that. Um, now I'm gonna add a little bit of adhesive to this. Oof. What do we think? Kind of cute, huh? I wish that star was like a little bigger trying to think like maybe a fourth of an inch bigger, an eighth of an inch all the way around bigger. I would love that. Let's see if I can get this off. Um, awesome, Linda, I'm glad I stapled higher. And I think I will put staples here. That's cute. Just adding a little something. I'm like, where else can I staple here? I could try stapling this, but sometimes when I'm doing like thicker, I get nervous. Like I don't want to wreck it. Let's just keep it. So I'm really liking the way this is coming together. I hope these cards don't look too plain, right? This one's really cute. I have, it's looking a little plain, but that's because I haven't done the journaling yet. So I'm going to think about that. What is there's anything else that I want to add? These are cute. These are like different colors. You know, I could maybe put some right underneath there. I could do that on like the rest of them actually. They're kind of big, but let's see. I could do these ones are even bigger. I mean these ones could at least be cut down a little bit. So they're not as big. I might try that and we'll see. I'm gonna cut this out. We're gonna make it a little well, let's see. all about the journey. It feels too thick to me. Could do that, but they're white and that's kind of boring, right? I could probably have cut this with this. Well, let me show you this. But it's fine doesn't need to be perfect. And this might not, e I might not even like this. So there you go. No, I do like that. That's cute. Loving everywhere. I'm just trying to think what what ones would go well with this. Loving oh new adventures. That's what's gonna go good with that. So this is me, this is a picture of me stickering. And so that is what this journaling is going to be about, is that I have found this joy in stickering. 
I feel like it's this like creative way to just play that doesn't have to be serious. Not that this has to be serious, but sometimes I know it can feel that way, that it just has to look a certain way. And so that is just like, just total play. And of course, stickers are just cute. So I really enjoyed that. All right, the next one. So anyway, this was not, it's not travel related and that's why I was talking about that best. Let's see. Life is short maybe? Let's do that one. And I like that it's orange. Well, that one's orange too. I was gonna say, oh, it'd be good to get like a bunch of different colors, but it is what it is. I like adding, I think that adds a lot, actually. I'm glad that I decided to do that. All right, you guys, well, you know what? Should I add one here? Do our journey, that might be a good one. Um, I think I'm pretty much done with this spread. You guys are so sweet to join me. I think it's successful. I was able to do it and hopefully be engaging at the same time. Ooh. One thing about printing photos, so I use the Epson PM400 and I love it, but the paper, the photo paper, it definitely, you, you definitely stick. When something goes down, it is not coming off unless it's gonna wreck that photo. So I'm going to use my tweezers to help me. The problem is when I'm putting something down with my fingers, I can't see how to get it centered because my fingers are in the way. And it doesn't need to be exact, but I do want to get it kind of in the right place, you know. Um, I think that's it. I'm not gonna do the journaling, so it does kind of look empty. I kind of want, you know what I want to do, I'm thinking about doing, I probably won't do right now. I'm thinking about like maybe outlining the states or something with like a gray marker, like a light gray marker just to give dimension or even like give all the states some dimension. I don't know, thinking about that. If I, you know, if this looks a little too plain. Or do you think it would be good if I cut it out and put it behind something, I wonder, like one of those cards, this card, let's say, for instance, if I like cut this out and put it behind it, it's like I don't want to do it because I don't want to have to stamp again. But I wonder if that would be good. Let's see, I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to mess with it. I could even color it in with a black marker. I could put it on black, I don't know. I'm gonna leave it. Sorry, I'm like not reading any of the comments. The spread looks great, thanks, and um, I like the simplicity too, and I, I'm really happy that I added that little bit of color. I think it really adds to the spread. Yes, cut it out. I'm hesitating. The thing that's so dumb is I could just um, stamp it again. I just don't want to. No, Linda, my daughters do not scrapbook. Isn't that the worst? Here's the thing. My middle daughter, Tess, she does um, journal, and I bought her like a small one of those, I think it was one of the Canon Ivies, and so she will add photos, and sometimes she'll add other things to like her journal. So it's as close as scrapbooking as she gets. Maybe I should be looking here, looking at the comments. Keep it plain. So fun to see like everyone's comments about it. Um, and so I'm so happy that you guys were here and um, you know that you guys will play. That you guys are excited to play with the travel kit when you get it. If you if you are getting it. Okay, so I'm done. I'm gonna do the journaling off camera, and then you'll see it in the photos. Check my Instagram. Um, if you're not following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. Like. 
my goal is 10,000 followers. I think I can do it <laughs> this year. I don't know if I can. <laughs> I, I have like, I'm like halfway. Well, I'm a little, I think I'm halfway. I don't know. I really want that swipe up, you guys. It's just all about the swipe up, right? Um, okay, let's do the giveaway. And I've got to be honest, I don't have like a really awesome way to do this. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scroll through the comments and then whoever is like the first one up at the top. And if you're, if that person's not here, then we'll pick another person. Cause I want it to be someone who stayed with me the whole time. Um, and then you can message me and send me your address and then I will get this out to you this week. So you will have that to play with. Okay, so I'm just gonna scroll through the comments and then whoever lands on, um, who, whoever ends up being the top, which is SC Trent. So if you're still here, you're the one that landed at the very, the landed at the top of my screen. Um, congratulations, you won this and um, I'll send this out to you so you can message me. Um, let me come back over to like where I can actually see you guys. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. It actually means a lot that you guys would take your time out. I don't, let's see what time it is. Oh, it's almost been an hour and a half. So take your time out to just come and craft with me. And I really would like to do this. I'm gonna hopefully do this every other week in the summer, but I would love to just do this every week and just have this be something that I do. Maybe I could work on um, my project life spread from the week since I'm trying to do, this was last week's. So I'm trying to keep, I'm trying to do better this year in 2021 and keep up to date. So maybe I will do that or maybe I will come on here and we can play with like a tool and we can do like a, or maybe I'll do a December daily week or a day or something like that because I do have that to work on. So there's things that I can, I, there's things that I can definitely work on with you guys, but I love the idea of crafting together and getting to know this community because I think you guys are so awesome and I really do appreciate um, the support. Let me go back. Is um, she here? I just wanna make sure she's here. Oh, you're here, awesome. I'm so glad that you, that you got it. Um, you're welcome, Kim. And I'm going to sign off, you guys, but hopefully you will join me next time. I think next time, though, I will be doing in the afternoon, probably a 1 or 2 o'clock time. I'm going to try and switch off for those people that are working during the day or those people that are maybe living somewhere else where this was like middle of the night for them. Uh, hopefully we can reach everybody. So I will probably see you guys in a couple of weeks. So thank you so much, but I will have, I mean, of course I'll have videos on my YouTube channel. I've got one that will come, be going live either Friday or Saturday. So thanks for joining me today, you guys, and we'll see you next time.